Now let's go back to Mesut Ozil and Arsenal as we have Ace Anthony joining on the show. Of course, he is a footy wheat uh, analyst. Good to have you with us, Ace. Hi, good morning, Luca. Good morning. Um, just so you know, he is an how, Arsenal fan. Oh, how are yes. you today? I'm very well. You've got your Arsenal jersey on. Uh, proudly an Arsenal fan. Yeah, yeah. An <laughs> Arsenal fan. For real. Now, <laughs> let's talk about um, the Messi to Zero situation. Of course, it's all sorted now and he has moved over to Fenerbahce. But as an Arsenal fan, do you think the club made the right decision by letting go of Messi to Zero? Well, I, I feel that's the best decision ever to be made because um, we didn't really know what was going on because before the pandemic, after the pandemic, actually, games after the pandemic, Ozil started 11 games for Ateta when Ateta took over as manager. Mm. And after the pandemic, after the game resumed, all of a sudden, Ozil was shut out of the team. Mm. And different stories we hear, different cons. cons Conspiracy theories yeah. were being were being put up. We don't know what happened. Some said because he tweeted, Ateta said because of footballing reason. But we know in the Arsenal team there are some players that are not meant to be in that squad for footballing reason, i.e., um, William, Pepe, and Co. But that's my personal opinion. Though. But back to Ozil. So different theories, different stories coming up. But I think it's the best decision ever for everybody to just go their separate ways because Ozil can shoot, can or is supposed to be playing active football. So why do you want to sit down outside, not even on the bench, but just being frozen out of the team mm. and not playing active football? It's not good for football. So I think it's best for Ozil and it's best for Arsenal. Mm. Now, Drew, uh, you know, most of the Arsenal fans, well, they are being torn apart. Some are in support of Mesut Ozil, some are not supporting Mesut Ozil. But don't you know that we, you will agree with me that the Arsenal midfield currently lacks creativity and Mesut Ozil brings a lot of that, a lot of options for the Arsenal side. And don't you believe that Arsenal will get to miss a great player as Mesut Ozil? Well, definitely stars have come and gone. Even when Thierry only left 2006 or 2007, I'm not too sure, Arsenal didn't crumble. Arsenal still move on. The thing is, the club remains. Manager will come, players will come, managers will go, players will go, but the club still remains. You know, it's one thing for you to question Ozil's and commitment to Arsenal ever since Wenger left, because I felt ever since Wenger left, that was when Ozil's, um, Ozil's Pandora box was just out there in the open for everybody to see, because... Mm. We all knew that Wenger indulged him. We've heard stories of even the times Ozzy won't turn up for training and a day to the match or a day to a fixture, Wenger allows him to in the starting eleven. So ever since Wenger left, when Emery came, we saw he didn't have, he, didn't, he wasn't really cool with Ozzy. Mm. Same as um, Ateta. Yeah. It, it is not a coincidence. There should be a kind of truth in there. When two managers comes in and say, hey, you this player, regardless of your status, regardless of what you've done before, you don't fit into my philosophy. Mm. There is a bit of truth in it. So, Arsenal missing Ozil. Well, like I said, Henri left, who was a legend. Then it's Beckham left. Kanye Wonko left. Arsenal remained the same. They still went ahead. Even if they've not won the EPL ever since this players that I mentioned left. And when Ozil came, Arsenal started winning trophies again. Hmm. But does it really mean Arsenal hmm. is going to miss Ozil for the rest of Arsenal's existence on earth? No, I doubt so. Hmm. Ozil will even get to a certain time, even if he were still at Arsenal, he will get to a certain time where he would have to call the shots and resign. But Arsenal missing Ozil, I doubt it. All right, he has moved over to Fenerbahce, a club that wants him to play for them. And, of course, you know the whole political yeah. issues that surrounded um, Mesut Ozil, Turkey, Germany, and Arsenal. But now I think he's mm -hmm. at home with Fenerbahce, and the fans already are in love with Mesut Ozil in Turkey. Well, like I said earlier, it's best for Ozil mm -hmm. and it's best for Arsenal. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. He's 32 going 33. Let's see if he still has that game left in him. But the question is, if Ozil was that good, should it be for the Bache or DC United that should be coming for him in this transfer window? If he was still that good, bigger clubs should have come for him. We understand the dynamics in the January transfer window. I'm not saying Ozil is not the best player. I'm not saying Ozil, because I know Ozil divides the opinion of Arsenal fans. Mm -hmm. Ozil has a great traction of fan base within the Arsenal fan base. So for me, reality is 
I think Ozil's time is up at Arsenal. It's time for Arsenal to cut their losses. And it's time for Ozil to, to cut his own losses, move on, and go play football elsewhere. And let Arteta build what he wants to build. Mm. He says he has a three-year plan. So if he doesn't see Ozil being fit into that plan, it's good. He knows best. He sees these guys behind the scenes. He sees the body language. He sees their commitment. So if he says Ozil doesn't fit into his philosophy, let us respect Arteta for whatever decision he has made. So if the decision comes back to bite him in the, you know, so it's left for Arteta to take responsibility. But I think it's just best for Ozil and it's best for Arsenal. Mm. Eddie, no problem. Thank you very much, Eddie. It's Anthony for joining on the show this morning. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, keep the lockdown and uh, please continue to stay safe out there. And of course, that's how we wrap up the show this morning Plus Sports on Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can reach us on social media at Plus TV Africa on Twitter and on Instagram. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Plus TV Africa. And for those juicy stories, log on to our website, www.plustvafrica.com. I'm Dokan Jogosain. Enjoy the rest of your day and please continue to stay safe.